got a new rule for you guys. Give it to me. I call it the hate that thing rule. <laughs> I noticed this with my wife recently. She, she was in our closet. You know, we share a little closet together and she tried on this sweater and she was like, I don't really like that. What do you think about this? I don't, and I'm like, it doesn't matter what I think right now. Mm -hmm. I can tell by your body language, by your features in this moment. And I think this rule applies well, well beyond clothes, but I think it especially applies to clothes. We buy something as an aspirational purchase. You see that <laughs> shirt. It looked great on the mannequin with the paisleys and oh, it went well with those leather pants that were on the mannequin. And like, oh yeah, I will be as sexy as that mannequin if I just buy that, if I put down my credit card and I take mm. that home. And then what happens? You try it on. You're like, ah, that doesn't really fit me well. My love handles are showing. I got a little muffin top in this. What am I doing with this? And then it just sits in the back of the closet because it looked really good in the store under those lights. But when you have it at home and you're like, oh, you know what? I don't really like it. I don't really enjoy it. It doesn't feel like me. I, if I'm being honest, I kind of hate that thing. And that's where the hate that thing rule comes into play. If you try on a shirt or you try on a kitchen utensil, Ryan puts his toaster on his head sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it's on TikTok. <laughs> if you try on something from your closet or from anywhere else in your house and you're not absolutely like, yes, hell yeah, this is one of my favorite pieces of clothes. Mm. Or worse, if you're like, oh, I just don't really like it then get rid of it. Mm. If you hate that thing, the next time you try it on, you can give yourself permission to let go because you're not going to magically start liking the thing that you hate right now. <laughs> yeah, isn't it funny though? Because what if every time you're like, do you guys like this shirt? Do you guys like this movie? Do you like this drink? And everyone's like, yeah, it's amazing. Mm. What does that mean? Well, we go, oh, okay, maybe something's wrong with me. Yes. Maybe I should just buy it. <laughs> you know, maybe I should eat it anyway. And mm. by the way, if I really dislike the shirt that I'm wearing, I feel uncomfortable, it feels unnatural, and I come in here, and even if TK and Ryan are both like genuinely, oh, I really like that shirt on you, it's still not for me. It's for them, but I don't wear my clothes in order to impress someone else. That's actually really uncool, right? Yeah. To always try to impress other people. The most impressive people, I teach this in my how to, be, how to Write Better Writing class, the most impressive writers are the ones who don't try to look impressive. And the most impressive fashionable people are the ones who aren't trying to impress you with their wardrobe. They simply look confident and secure and grounded in whatever they're wearing. Yeah. No, just to be clear too, Josh would not go in the closet and be like, oh, I hate that shirt of Becca's and then get rid of her shirt. <laughs> <laughs> no, in fact, I liked what she was wearing, but I could tell in that moment she didn't like it. Mm. It didn't feel good to her. And so I was like, Bex, I, be, I like it just fine. But what matters is how you feel about that sweater. Mm. And if you feel like, oh, I just don't feel comfortable in this. It doesn't feel like me. It's okay. Yeah. You can let it go. Mm -hmm. And with your career and with your relationships, because how many of us wear job titles that don't fit, wear dating relationships that don't fit, mm. wear career aspirations and all other sorts of things that don't fit just because somebody says, hey, being a banker looks good on you. Driving that car looks good on you. But the whole time you feel out of place, you feel awkward, you feel stressed, you feel tight, like you're not yourself. But somebody says it looks good on you. So you make yourself wear it. Mm. It's not a good look. Yeah. Not a good life. I hate that thing, so I'm going to let it go. Did you enjoy this standalone Patreon highlight? If so, you can listen to full episodes of the Minimalist Private Podcast, available exclusively on Patreon. Visit patreon.com slash the minimalists or click the link in the description. Your support keeps our podcast and YouTube channel 100% advertisement free.